Hey Exotic Gaming here, back with a video comparing console to PC version of Seven Days to Die. Please like the video if you enjoy it, and let's begin. The console version I'm playing on is Xbox, and we're going to take a look at the graphics first, because that's obviously the first thing that pops out to players when they log in. The graphics are dated, and they don't give off any sort of distinct color. They kind of look blurry and really show their age. Buildings themselves show this as well. Well, they also kind of are empty and lack any sort of distinct coloring or distinctive loot at this point in the game. Players on console will be searching through the same standard houses and finding the same standard loot over and over over again until you get bored or you just quit the game in general. I'm not saying console is bad, but if you come from PC and try to play console, you are going to notice the difference in buildings and how fun they are to search. Modern rooms like these also don't really have much distinctive coloring or distinctive loot. And even behind paintings where you usually can find stuff, there is nothing to be found. Even after breaking into a room specifically looking for loot, you still might be left finding nothing but empty paintings and despair. Comparing this to the same house and PC version, you will have a much different experience. Just look at the coloring and graphics of the blocks in general. I am playing on high settings, but this still doesn't change the fact the game is completely different in terms of feel as well. Look at the difference on how barren this looks compared to PC. It's the same building, they've just made it look more alive. Other rooms are like this as well. If looking at the kitchen itself, it's been revamped and recolored completely compared to the Xbox version here. It looks dingy and old and doesn't even really look like a truly modern kitchen. Now, a lot of this is due to how far behind console is in alphas, but the console version itself has always had glitchy problems and bad graphics. Going upstairs, we can see the same thing graphically and we finally get to encounter our first zombie. Once again, the difference between console and PC versions is crazy. Now we should discuss my least favorite part of console gameplay, which is the combat. My experience being... Dude, you don't even see me? What the hell? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I cannot aim this reticle at all. Jeez. Talk about being sensitive. I've been messing with the settings for that for... Okay, what the... Oh, glitchy dog. Okay. What? What are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna run. This is insane. Like, they don't respond well at all. They just stop moving. Okay, what? Okay, now he's following me. Now, he's literally floating on the ground. It's crazy. I am dead. God damn it. <sighs> that was pretty much my routine going back and forth for a few hours dying to the zombies glitching or my screen glitching out itself. Now, I don't know if that's the Xbox or it's the actual optimization for it. But this was pretty much how it went over and over. It was very hard to hit the zombies, especially coming from PC and trying to use the same mechanics I used for that. The zombies don't really get dazed, they don't really stop attacking you, and they just run around you in circles if you try to not back up like this. It's also worth noting how many there are. In general cities, it was almost impossible to move around, unlike in PC. You saw the lag right there, which happened continuously on Xbox One. I also had some sound problems where I couldn't hear the zombies that were crawling on the ground until the last second. And they absolutely shocked me every time they attacked me. The glitching here is also very noticeable as he like, I think he, it might be a daze effect of some sort, I think. Well, actually, I don't know. It just looks bad. Regardless, that's pretty much how combat went on the console version of the game. Just constant lag, constant problems, but if you're used to it, I can see how it would actually be easy. Let's take a look how it compares to PC, though. Combat on PC is a lot more streamlined, there's a lot more options for how you want to tackle combat, and the zombies respond in a much more dynamic way. The only complaint I really have is the amount of zombies in the world, which you can obviously mod and do whatever you want with on the PC version of the game. Zombies respond well to being hit and have different effects based on where you hit them and where they attack you. It's also worthy of note on how Alpha 20 really changed the game in general in PC because of the early game weapons and the way zombies can now lose different limbs graphically. Dealing with big groups of zombies on PC is still difficult, but you can actually get away with it much more easily, even with low stamina, like I just did here with 8 health. 
It's not as nerve wracking going into combat with low health because the game won't lag out or glitch out to make you die, which is a great boon to PC players. The next topic we're going to get into is settings, and especially on the console version, there just aren't really many at all. Players are kind of left to how the game was formatted for the Xbox with only a few limited options and look how ugly distant terrain looks in this Xbox version. We all know Xbox can handle better, especially Xbox One, and this is how it looks when you finally get close enough to see the grass. Now the settings in the game for modded options are actually pretty good, but the video options are terrible. You have gamma and motion blur and distant terrain, basically. Now as I mentioned, the modded options are very good. After changing difficulty settings, you have a bunch of different settings for changing the game's general world settings. Now where the game's settings and graphical settings, I guess, really stand out is when you go into cities like Dyersville. It just spawns in halfway. It looks like you're literally in a different world that just is creating itself like it's the Minecraft world edge or something. And it's even worse than Minecraft. It, Minecraft was far away. This was terrible. Now PC is obviously different where you could see almost the whole entire city when you walk into it and you can even go into the game menu and make the view distance farther if you really want to do it that way. What's really noticeable about cities and PC is just how empty they are compared to earlier alphas or even the console version we saw right here where you couldn't even see the city entirely. Now PC graphics as you see here are way, way more editable or changeable in PC version along with a bunch of other settings like UI and dynamic mesh options. If console could just find a way to have low, medium, high, and maybe an ultra option, it would be way better in terms of how people want to play their game and see their game. Now we know the fun pimps are working on updating the game because they reacquired the rights. It's just a matter of time. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out and I'll see you guys in the next video.